We're here at Palm Beach. We now we have moved over to the 30-foot center console Rabala, which is the R300, uh, which is a it's our flagship fishing boat, our largest center console in our entire line, and uh, it's a very versatile 30-foot center console. Uh, starting off here in the bow, there are several unique features. You've got a nice deep bow area here with standard bow cushions. You've got a recessed bow rail that wraps all the way around and your bolster cushions wrap all the way around too so you've got nice high backrests. And one nice thing about this bow area here is that it's got this filler piece here. It's a removable fiberglass piece you can use as a casting deck and when you want to uh, when you want to use this U-shape seating, the entire piece pulls out and you've got a U-shaped seating area here in the bow, which helps add to the versatility of this boat. On top of that, you can insert the table leg and use the same filler piece that you just had in there up here in the front, and all of a sudden you've got a bow table on this boat. Which, uh, which is nice for uh, days you're out on the boat, cruising the intercoastal or a sandbar day. People can sit up here and you can kind of entertain. Underneath each one of these boxes here, or each one of the, underneath all these cushions, you've got full-size fish boxes, which are insulated storage compartments. They've got the neoprene insulation underneath the lids, which helps keep the ice uh, from melting. All these uh, boxes up here in the front drain overboard. You've got stainless steel gas assist shocks that hold the boxes open. And up here in the front, you've got a nice big wide bow area with all recessed hardware. And one nice thing about this boat, it's got a standard windlass that's tucked up, up underneath the front. So it's not sitting on top of the deck, it's not exposed to the weather, it's not a tripping hazard, and it's not something you're going to get your fishing line snagged on when you're out fishing. You've got bow controls to control your windlass from up here in the front, as well as controls back at the dash. So you can control the windlass if you're out on the boat by yourself, uh, or you've got a friend. Either way, you can control it from either direction. Also, you've got a washdown up here in the front of the boat, too. So when you pull up the anchor, you've got mud or dirt or seagrass that's on your anchor. You can actually rinse it off so that it cleans off your anchor and it's all the way here in the front of the boat, which is nice. You can also rinse the front of the boat off. Notice the nice big stainless um, anchor roll in the front. No bow pulpit on this boat, which is, uh, which is nice. And you've also got flush mount cleats. Moving back, you've got a, another huge cooler spot right here, which is an insulated box, which gives you nice access with the double hinge so you can get in and out of the compartment very easily to grab a drink. That seat tucks away nicely to another storage compartment here in the floor. Notice the recess in the stringer there, which actually will hold a five gallon bucket. So there's a spot in this boat designated for a five gallon bucket. There's also storage down there for your bow filler piece, the table that we showed you before. And you can see your water tank up in the front with the access hole so you can actually see how much fresh water is in your tank at all times. Moving around to the side of the boat over here, we've actually got lockable rod storage on this boat. This boat's got 30 rod holders on it and some of the rod storage is down here on each side of the boat, you've got lockable rod storage. That's a finished off compartment that's actually got a rubber layer here to help protect your reels from bouncing. And this is nice, you know, especially if you do weekend trips, you can keep all your rods on both sides here and lock them up securely, as well as storage down here for light tackle items. Coming around here, the, uh, the head area is very unique. It's got a very large head area with a lot of headroom. You can actually use this as a changing room. The sink pulls out to a shower. It's got a standard vacuum flush head, which is very unique. Most competitors use either a pump out marine head or a porta potty in this style of boat. This is the uh, top of the line vacuum flush. 
You can see it's got stand-up rod holders, plenty of storage, and a fiberglass liner uh, so you don't have uh, carpet or stretch vinyl. It stays clean, no mildew, and uh, offers you a lot of space. It's got lighting in there. Notice the door is actually held on by a magnet, which is nice, as well as a screen vent here to allow for uh, some ventilation inside the head. Now the top on this boat is about 25% wider than other manufacturers top. It goes from gunnel to gunnel, and this is a 10-6 beam boat, just to give you an idea of the amount of shade you get from this top. It's a 100% fiberglass top. So it'll last you the life of the boat. It's not like a canvas top you've got to change out every few years. Uh, on top of that, you can see the structure and how uh, heavy duty the Rabalas are built. They really are built for the tournament fishermen. The windshield, you got a nice tall, real glass windshield. A lot of manufacturers will uh, save a few dollars and go with a plastic windshield, but Rabala goes with a full size glass windshield on the 30 foot center console. Over to the helm area, uh, very unique uh, helm design. You've got room for twin 12 inch screens. You've got a command link Yamaha gauge package on this boat, as this boat is packaged with twin 300 Yamahas. On top of that, you get the digital fly-by wiring controls, which are new for 2011 on the 300, as well as push start. So you can have a single key on this boat, which, and you push to start each motor. All your switches are all backlit. No fuses, everything works off breakers. You've got a plug for your iPod here too, so you can plug your iPod in when you're out on the water. Never too many cup holders. Rabala always has cup holders for you. You got tilt steering. And another unique feature about the dash here is that it opens up and you've got full access behind the dash to actually service your, your electronics. You can see how nice the wiring is done on the Rabalos. Everything's easy to get to and great access just like all the Rabalos uh, in the entire line. We try to make everything easy to service, easy to access, and we designed that boat that way.